Good morning everybody! It is the day that I am going to do my hair transformation. I'm just getting a little bit nostalgic, but oh my god, look at the roots. But this era of Jenny hair for me is over. My hair looks really gross right now because I actually didn't wash it so that I'd be able to bleach it. Um, I'll insert a picture here of what I want it to look like actually when I'm done. So we'll see what it looks like. Uh, it won't be as black anymore. So I'm kind of excited for that. I ha I'm actually running a little bit late right now. So I'm going to go head over to Captain's place and hopefully come out with a better looking hairstyle. <laughs> I'm not really sure. And then afterwards, uh, it's Lily's birthday today. I made a different video on that, but it's Lily's birthday today and she's having a little birthday get together. So we're just going to go do that and then um, show everybody my new hair. So let's go to the salon now. Alrighty, so we're switching to voiceover mode because I obviously can't talk while doing my hair at the same time with all this copyright music playing in the background. So welcome to Lumio. This is where Captain Jose does my hair and he actually has this really cool Barbie room which he does his client's hair in and it's actually a really cool concept. So at first I had to get a strand test because I don't know how my hair is going to do with all this bleach with all the black dye that I did on top of it. So we did a strand test and it honestly did not go very well but we did my entire head of bleach one time and this is me getting my head cooked in the oven heater thing that they put on top of you when you're getting your hair bleached to speed up the process. It did take a lot of time. So I think I had my bleach in for around like over half an hour. Then this is him putting in the second layer of bleach right now. After the second layer of bleach, I washed it out and it still ended up looking pretty orange. Because of how orange it looked after the first two bleaches, he actually decided to go in for a third and a fourth bleach. So I was really surprised that my hair didn't actually follow my head, but we did that. We did a third and a fourth bleach, ladies and gentlemen. And this is right after we washed it. And I don't know if you can see any of my eyes, but you could definitely tell that it was not the color that I was expecting my own hair to be. Since my hair is usually really easy to lift and really easy to change color, I can tell that black dye really messed up my hair. So that's a warning to everyone else. If you want to stay blonde, never dye your hair black. This is a close up of how blonde I could get it after four bleaches. It still really looks red and not blonde at all and I couldn't understand what was wrong with my hair. Regardless, I decided to put in the rest of the dye to cover up my two blonde strands at the beginning and then after we washed it out. So this is obviously not what I expected to have. I showed you guys a picture of what I wanted it to look like at the beginning, but there was, there was just no way that my hair was going to lift the way that I wanted it to. So in the end, we just ended up with this silver purpley color underneath that bleeds through the black sometimes when I move my hair. So it makes my hair look a little bit more three-dimensional. And honestly, I didn't hate it because this is my first time having dark hair in like such a long time. So. I haven't had a 
American food since two weeks ago when we had those pancakes, but blueberry pancakes, and uh, bacon and eggs, and hash brown. And then yours is a cheese omelet. Flortine. Flortine cheese omelet with pancakes and hash brown again. I'm so excited to eat this. <laughs> So I'm back from brunch with Elena, but um, we were supposed to go to a cafe to do some work actually, but I think uh, all the cafes are closed right now because of the increase in coronavirus cases, so I guess I'll be doing some work at home. I'm gonna have to try to clean my house and organize a bit, and it's already almost 5 p.m., so this is, what, this is the end of the vlog so I thought I would do a little hair update um, this is what my hair looks like right now in the light you can see it's a little bit purple and silverish color but I think the more times I wash it out the more blonde it's gonna get um, I'll see what happens to it I actually don't know how to tone it myself cause it is like a layer underneath so basically the top layer is black and then the this middle layer like inside of my hair here is what was bleached so it catches onto the silver color but it obviously turned purple and then the under layer is also black so this is our this was originally black already and you see the middle layer here some of it's still brown but um as I'll probably explain in the voiceover I do really regret dyeing my hair black because I do like having lighter colored hair and oh my god lifting lifting black dye was like the hardest thing I've ever had to go through <laughs> I mean I haven't had dark hair for like seven years so I kind of just like took it for granted thinking that it would just be able to lift really quickly but actually just to even get to this brownish like whatever color is going on here it took four bleaches to do this so my hair is pretty much dead right now I need a haircut obviously but I mean overall I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out it is like it is not what I expected it to be obviously because it wasn't light enough but I think it's pretty good for how much time and effort went into this hair but anyways if you want to watch more with me dyeing my hair because I seem to do that a lot randomly um, please subscribe and like the video and I'll see you guys again next week bye bye